happening. Look at that, it's just phenomenal. Nice. I feel like I need a green screen with Star Trek Enterprise behind me for this one. We are checking out the new Endura Klingons. They are a 70 by 26 mil tyre for 1.3 inch wheels. Uh, really nice looking tread pattern on these ones. Let's check these out. So like I said, it's one of their newer tyres that they've released recently uh, using their S5 compound. So super sticky tyre, really soft. Uh, again, really soft foams in these ones as well. You can see how supple the tyres are. Really nice tread pattern. I like the kind of deep grooves on this one. I think these are actually going to be really good on the trail as well as on the rocks. You know, with that tread pattern should really help it kind of bite into some of the dirt. So yeah, definitely be interested to try these ones on the trail as well. Now I'm going to fit them on my brushless uh, Hobby Plus CR18P Evo Pro. I've just finished the review on the Endura XHX tyres. These things were amazing on the rocks. Not so great on the trail because they're obviously like a comp pin design. Uh, but on the rocks, these things were phenomenal. Uh, probably the best tyre I've ran on the rocks so far. Obviously, again, another big tyre. So, you know, you only want to use it on like a modified rig. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop these tyres off uh, so that we can use these Endura aluminium wheels. This is what, another one of their new 1.3 inch wheels. I uh, love the kind of rainbow design. I think they've just released like a carbon fiber version as well. So I want to get my hands on those, but we'll pop these tires off. We'll stick the new um, Klingons on and then we will hit the rocks and hit the trail and see how these things perform. So there you go. Wheels and tires are all fitted up. A really cool looking tire. I really like the look of this. I think it looks really cool on this rig. The wheels are vented as well. So we've got a nice bit of squish there. I think I said in the XHX pins video that the wheels weren't vented, so I actually vented the tyres. But yeah, that's what happens when you uh, do videos late at night. <laughs> you talk nonsense. So anyway, all on there. Really happy with the look. I think they look really cool. Really nice size as well. You know, you see we've got a nice bit of squish there. Uh, interesting to see what the kind of like the sidewall movement's going to be like, because obviously, you know, with them being vented, uh, see if they roll over or not. Okay, we are outside on the little mini rock crawler course. For those of you who are regulars to the channel, I've recently made some changes to the rock crawler course. You may or may not have seen it already. Uh, this has just had a slight change. This is the easy section. And now over here, we've got the more complicated section with some quite steep lines that you know we can run and stuff so that hopefully we can really test the rigs. So first up, we just got the hill climb. See how it does up there. Normally things get stuck on that first ridge. See if it can just crawl right over the, uh, the XHX pins. Oh, okay. I was going to say the XHX pins did that really well. That just did it even better, I think. So far, these off to a good start. Like driving, isn't it? See if we can get up here. A bit of a funny angle there. Hang on. Nice. <laughs> I'm falling off, fall off the edge over there. Can't drive today. Nice. Okay, before we hit those ones, let's try the rest of the easy ones first. Again, we can test out the bite on the tires. Some of these rocks are really smooth, so you know it's quite hard to get over. So it'll be interesting to see how it does on this one. Similar problem to what we had where we kind of grounded out in the middle. Nice, did it? Nice. Let's see if we can get up here. Man, these things are awesome. I think so far these actually seem better than the uh, XH, the XHX pins. Uh, which I really thought they were amazing on the rocks. These are brilliant. Let's try the up and over. Try and go as slow as we can so it's just all grip. Nice. Amazing slow speed control this thing. It's just phenomenal. see that they just, as soon as they bite, they're off. 
and like I said, these are really smooth rocks as well. Okay, let's try out the harder obstacles. Again, we'll try and go as slow as we can. Lifting a wheel there a bit. Okay, so then we're going to get to the steps now. We're going to see what the bite on these tyres are like as they try to push over the steps. Oh my life, these things are just brilliant. You can see where that tread is just digging into the rocks and just gripping and going for days. I mean, look at that. That is lovely. Yeah, I would say so far these are definitely better than the XHX pins and I thought they were really good. Okay, next up we've got the steepest climb that's at a slight angle. This should be the hardest kind of obstacle. Uh, obviously this is an LCG rig so it should make it up like weight-wise without tipping over. But again, it'd be interesting to see what these tyres are like. I'll try and go as slow as I can. I mean that is just phenomenal grip. You can see it's just like spins a little bit, bites, and then it's off. That is fantastic. Let's just test out that kind of side bite and see if the tires roll over. There we go, as slow as I can. So you can see they're not folding over, which is not bad. Yeah, especially because they're vented as well. I thought, you know, they'd be really soft, but you know, still got a decent sidewall, so that's good. But we got loads of squish, which is just awesome. I'm going down this route, we'll be going up this route in a minute. <laughs> Bad driving. Okay, so this section here is kind of like for the rigs that struggle with the weights when they tip over, but obviously, when you get to a certain point, you've got to get a really good kind of angle to turn and rotate round. So let's just see how these tyres do getting around there on those smoother rocks. And so far they are just doing an awesome job. Nice. Nice. This thing is pretty much unstoppable. I mean, look at that, it's just... Phenomenal. So good. Okay, I feel like I just need to keep finding more and more challenging things to do with this thing because it's just ridiculously capable. Let's just try really randomly to run across this rock and up there and see if we can get up there. Can we bite? <laughs> Oh my life, this thing is like just the best cheetah rig, it's so good, it's ridiculous. $200 for this thing, brushless, is just mental, you know? Well, I bet we can even drive up the wall. <laughs> oh my life. Well, on the rocks, these tyres are just phenomenal, I mean, you know, I thought the XHX 72 mil pins from Endura were brilliant on the rocks. These are even better. You know, that, that tread pan is really allowing us to kind of like grip on the rocks and just bite and just climb pretty much anything. I mean, if you had like heavier wheels and more low down weight, I'm, this thing would just go over everything. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I mean, I would say these are definitely, well, for the rocks, they've just trumped the XHX. So I would say these are the, the best rock tires I have now tested. Uh, definitely get my stamp of approval. So let's hit the trail and just see how they do on the loose kind of dirt because that's where kind of the XHX struggled uh, because of the comp pin design. You know, they were good on the rocks but they struggled on other terrain. Okay, we are out on the trail looking for Spock with the Klingons. Uh, so let's just try our route obstacles and uh, see how these tyres do. The Endura XHX ones did pretty well here. So let's see how well these ones, see how these compare. Nice. Oh, lovely jubbly. Okay, back at our new little play spot as well. Uh, streams down there.
climb up this broken tree. See how far we can get up there. Hopefully don't fall all the way back down and end up in the stream. It's gonna happen sooner or later, but hopefully not today. So see how these tires grip on here. Again, the uh, Endura XHX ones did really well up here. It's interesting to see how these do. Oh, try not to tip over. Oh, nice. Can we get over? Struggling a little bit for grip there on the root. Oh, it's not a root, is it? It's a tree. I think we need to try and get the right angle. Let's try to go back down a minute. Without ending up in the stream. <laughs> okay, let's go slightly over to the right if we can. We'll just see if we can run that over there. Oh. <laughs> oh. Saved it, kind of. Okay, let's try that again, but we'll go over to the right first of all. And let's try and run that one. We need to just get just, just the right kind of angle to then be able to... Oh, we're going to lift again. Oh yes, 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 go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, getting hung up on the axle there, look. Might be able to power over it. Or maybe not. Oh, oh okay. Oh, we found an even better route. How cool is that? Okay, let's see how far we can get up. I think it would be a bit more low down weight, it would be even easier. But, uh... Nice. And then this is generally where we tip over at the top. Which, yeah, you can see straight away, look, it's gonna go. So I'm gonna leave it there, but well happy with that. Again, really nice performance on these tires. Uh, struggled a little bit more than the XHX ones, but um, you know, still amazing performance. And the last test, which I'm quite looking forward to seeing how it performs, is the bank climb. Obviously a bit of loose dirt, some roots and stuff like that. We had to use loads of wheel speed with the XHX tires, so I think these are going to do better, but is there only one way to find out? Nice, I think we're off to a better start straight away. Oh, a little bit struggling there, a little bit on the loose dirt, come on. I want to try and see how far we can get without having to do like masses of wheel speed. Nice. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how many times I said nice in this video. I can't help it. Okay, let's try going across a little bit. You can see we're not picking up as much mud as the other ones. Uh, but we're still struggling. I think we're going to have to get some wheels around. Surprised to be honest, I thought these would have done much better. It is quite a steep bank to be fair, but... Bit of wheel speed. I made it up with the wheel speed. They definitely started off better, but then uh, they, they still kind of struggled to be honest, which I'm quite surprised at. But I mean, I think overall, I would say these tyres, well, I think to be honest, this is my new favourite big tyre. Uh, I think overall it performs better across all the different types of terrain than the XHX one. If you're looking for something that can perform like on a trail, on the rocks and stuff like that, I mean I actually think this did better on the rocks than the H I can't say it can I, than the XHX tires. I'm just going to call it the double X pin from now on to be honest, I'm fed up of saying XHX. Oh, got to write that time. Huh? Anyway. Um, yeah, I actually think these did better on the rocks. Uh, I prefer the tread pattern on these, you know, I like a nice kind of meaty tread pattern. But yeah, I am really happy with the performance of these tyres. I think they are fantastic. Uh, Endura are nailing it at the moment with all their tyres, especially with this S5 compound. Super sticky. So yeah, really, really good. Drop me a comment if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.